Hey everyone, so if you're like me, sometimes your batteries get cold. My batteries are outside and, well, in a barn, let's say, an uninsulated barn, and they're getting a little cold this time of year. Uh, if you saw my last video, which is now deleted, um, I tried taping some heat maps to them. Uh, those heat maps worked uh, pretty well uh, until it gets really cold and then they don't work anymore. So instead of using those heat mats on uninsulated batteries, I'm gonna build a battery box. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Here is the start of my box. This is gonna be the bottom of my box. I'm using 280 amp hour Eve cells. Uh, they're big, right? They're about eight and a half inches wide, eight and a half inches tall, a couple inches, a few inches deep, uh, but they're very heavy. So I had to build a really sturdy box at the bottom. Uh, if you wanna look at the dimensions and replicate these yourself, these long pieces on the side are 32 and a half. And these smaller pieces here are 23 and a half. And this is about 29 and a half, these three in the middle. I have a 16S system, so I'm going to have 8S here, 8S here, and then wire, to get, wire them together uh, in a 16S configuration. Uh, I'm going to insulate the whole thing, and then on the top, I'll have room for my BMS and my, and my active uh, balancer. Uh, but this is the very bottom. Uh, I did this off camera. Uh, you want this to be incredibly sturdy because it is going to have to hold about 100 pounds. I went ahead and did pocket holes here. You don't have to do that. You could just screw in from the tops, but I think pocket holes... You can do them, do them, it makes it super strong. And this is all just built with two by four, so this is a little bit more than two two by fours, so not very expensive. Okay, let's move on to the next step. <clears throat> okay, so now I've cut some side panels. These panels are gonna sit on the side of the box, making it a box. Okay, these panels are 17 and a half inches tall. I'm gonna screw them in here on the sides. I'm not going to do side panels here. I'm going to put insulation here and maybe some support, but I want to be able to remove the insulation in the summer so that air can flow through here in case they get too hot. Because again, this is going to be in the shed. It's not very insulated. Uh, but in the winter, I'll keep insulation here and insulation obviously on all the sides, but in the summer, keep these open. So that's why there'll be no OSB here. Uh, I'm using half inch OSB. You could use whatever you want. I just have this laying around. Uh, and these are 17 half inches tall. And then I've cut two panels. One's 11 and one's 11 and 3 eighths to go right in the middle here and serve as a floor. Okay, pretty simple enough. Now I'm just gonna screw everything in. Okay, so that's done. I didn't show you because I'm terrible at things. Um, but yeah, that's done. Uh, these are screwed in the side with three screws. These are screwed firmly down. So now we have a base. Uh, what we're gonna do now is fill this base with insulation and then also put uh, insulation on the sides. Uh, and then we'll cut out pieces for these two on the end. For the insulation, I'll be using this. Uh, you can get it at your local home goods store. Uh, hopefully they sell big sheets at mine. They only sell these two by two, making it a very expensive proposition, but you can use any, any sort of insulation you like. I'll be placing it down here on the sides. Basically, this is what's gonna be keeping our cells uh, hopefully insulated in the winter. Okay, I'm gonna cut these up now. Okay, so you can see I turned the lights on, um, but also I cut some foam and put it in here. Great, okay, so we've got foam. I actually used this double-sided mounting tape to keep it up there. Um, I would find better better double-sided tape than I did because this tape stuff, this stuff sucks, but yeah, double-sided tape, pulling it down. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we wanna sit, have the battery situated one row here and one row here, right? Now, there's a few different ways we could deal with the BMS. We could, you know, for example, try to put the BMS in the middle between the two. Uh, maybe we could put it off to one side. We could try to mount it on the side. The thing is, if you have a big 16S setup like this, your BMS, usually the wires that come to go to each cell are just not that long. So, for example, putting a BMS here and then wiring all the way over there, it's possible, but, uh, you know, it's very possible that, that, that from here to here, for example, it's just the wires just won't be long enough. Uh, I've had that problem. So what I'm going to do is have my two rows of cells here, and then I'm going to put a plate on top of that, essentially another OSB little second level right up here, so that the batteries will go in, and then the plate will go on top, and then the BMS and the active cell balancer will sit right here. Okay, so all you have to do is uh, basically cut some OSB and have that OSB sit on the side here. This is wide enough so the two rows of cells can sit inside without issue with two rows of OSB right here. This will actually provide even more insulation, not that much, but a little bit more insulation. And what it's gonna do is those two lines of OSB that are sitting here, we'll just place a little another OSB horizontally on top of that, and that'll be our second level, and we'll just cut a hole in that. So all I'll have to do is I can wire up all the cells, and when I'm ready, I just put that in. I won't secure that, so 
Uh, that can always be removed later on when I need to remove it, but for uh, these will be secured to the side. So I'll go ahead and cut those now. <clears throat> okay, so I've done some work and I turned on the lights. Um, basically, I cut these down. These are about uh, 10 and 3 eighths. Uh, again, half inch OSB. I secured them against the wall with the with the double sided tape, and then I actually used a couple small nails to put them in. You don't want to use nails or fasteners in here because that'll create a thermal bridge. So you don't want to be going through the insulation uh, if you can help it. But I couldn't find a better way to secure them. So for now, I've secured them in like this. Uh, I also went ahead and cut the tops. So I wasn't too scientific about this. I just cut two top pieces of OSB. They're going to go in just like this. And as you can see, they're snug but totally removable. So my batteries will sit down here, wires will come up through this large crack, and then I'll have a BMS and a active balancer. I'm also gonna have uh, an outlet with a temperature sensor attached to it that will connect to two thermal heating mats that are gonna go on the bottom. So all the electronics associated with the battery are gonna sit on top up here with this single uh, little crack on the, on the bottom. I also might think of a way to cover the battery terminals themselves completely so that when they're in, they're totally separated from this separate area with the exception of the wires coming up through. Uh, so let me think about that. Otherwise, I've been busy. I also made the top. Uh, I've gotta go out and get a little more insulation to finish it, but this is the top. I put the insulation right in the middle. I'll put another strip right here tomorrow. It's gonna fit in just like this. Uh, now the top is designed for a couple things. Firstly, I have an overhang here of about an inch and a half, so that, oh, I'm sorry, two and a half inches, so that I can slide in uh, the ends here when I make them, and then put something up here and down here so that they'll, they'll stay, uh, so they can slide in and out. Uh, otherwise, this is just a half inch piece of ply with more insulation, and I use the double sided tape and I tape it on the side just to really make it secure. Uh, but that's where we are so far. So, next steps. What do we have to do? Well, we have to get more insulation so I can finish, so I can finish the top, and then I need a little more insulation and more OSB to finish these side portions here. Okay, uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everybody, I've been busy. Um, so first thing I did is I taped all these seams. Uh, I thought that would be great to you know, stop air from flowing out. In the end, it's kind of just made things a little more cumbersome. I'm not sure I would do it all over again. But the main thing you're gonna notice is that I put these battery terminals in. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, but these are just basic battery terminals. Uh, I'll show you another angle in a second. Uh, but basically they're gonna allow me to plug the battery negative and positive to these and allow this battery box to be a genuinely closed box, right? I can close it up and now I can connect to the terminals in the battery through a BMS, which is gonna be stored inside. Uh, and not have to keep the battery open or anything like that. Otherwise, I made some panels, right? So this is the panel that goes here. Um, it goes in like this. It's a very tight fit, which I want, because I don't want it to, uh, to leak any more than it has to. Let's get it in. Oh, come on. There we go. So this fits in right in here, and I'm gonna start with some bungee codes, uh, bungee cords, rather. Uh, I found 20 of these at Amazon, uh, not Amazon, at Home Depot like 20 little ones for five bucks or something. Actually a very good deal at Home Depot for once. So can't recommend this enough. So close this up like so. And I just use a couple of trim screws in there. Some short, very short trim screws. You can use whatever you want to secure it. But now you can see this is in really, really tight. It's a snug fit. And then when summer comes, all I have to do is take this right out and I'll have airflow. So I've done the same thing for the other side. I'm gonna do it that side. Boom, same thing over here. Uh, this side is, I have no top part for, for the terminal, so this is just the entire wall. Just goes right up against the wall, and I'm going to tie this down again with terminals, and we'll fast forward now. Okay, we're back. Okay, so it's all tied up and I've got the top here, but let me grab the camera real quick and show you another perspective on what I built in and how it works. Okay, so here's the inside of the box, right? You can see this is just the basic insulation on the back. Here's the other side of my terminals. I've had to hollow out because remember, we're gonna have to attach the, um, the, you know, the wires to these and they're gonna need room for that. So uh, this is hollowed out for them. There's an inch here for the insulation that's on the top of the, of the, of the top of the battery that I'm gonna put on there. You definitely have to make sure to insulate top. Remember, high air rises, so if you don't insulate the top, you're kind of not insulating anything. 
Otherwise, uh, there's insulation here, and then these are the two uh, little OSB pieces I put so that I can put uh, shelves there, which I can show you in a second. Uh, and here's the back, all bungeed up. So this back can get removed, and then with that front part that gets removed right there, essentially, you're gonna have total airflow. And then I can take the top off as well. So in the summer, it'd be really, really easy to just take off two sides, take off the top, and I can, you know, I can put, I can make some substitutes that are there that have holes in them, or I can just take them off and leave them as they are. But it's going to be great in terms of airflow. So these batteries are not going to get too hot in the summer, but otherwise they'll be nice and insulated in the winter. Okay. Okay. So just to finish this up, I'm going to do the box assembly. Uh, the sides are on, so let's just put the top on and show you what it looks like when it's finished. We want to keep this pretty tight. Obviously, tighter it is, less leaky, so there's going to be pretty straightforward, again, using the same screws, same bungee cords as before, just to tie this all up. This, not following exactly the same pattern here in the back as I did in the front, because, well, I don't need to, but also, because this doesn't have a top part, it just has the bottom, this part's removable, this part is not, in the back, the whole thing's removable. So these screws are lower just to accommodate that. And consequently, I need to do it here. But that's it. Check it out. So this is a finished box. Uh, I'm gonna install it now, and then I'll, I'll show you that install. But this is the finished box. There's definitely a few ways you can prove this if you're maybe in a colder place or you're finding this isn't working. You could always add more um, insulation on the sides. You could add multiple layers of insulation on the top. I think if this isn't working, that's gonna be my next step is to add maybe a layer or two of insulation on the top here that I'll have to find a new home for my screws, but uh, I could always just glue a final layer of um, plywood on top of that, just like I did here. So maybe a couple layers of insulation, more plywood and then screws. Um, that would work. You could also put more insulation on the inside if you needed to. Uh, and I, I'm using, I'm going to be using two heat mats in there, uh, but you could add, you know, more heat mats on the side, for example. Uh, so for now, this is the general construction of the box. It's not beautiful, but I think it's not bad looking. Uh, and it's designed to sit in my shed and hold my battery. So I'm not going to go out of my way to make this incredibly beautiful. I think it looks pretty uh, decent and it's very functional. And I do it with a lot of scraps. Okay, so let's get to the install. Okay, everyone. Um, so here is the battery box set up. And this is what I would call summer mode. So on the bottom, you can see there's the two rows of cells. Right? You can see all the way through, this is missing. Here are the two terminals. Now the other side on the top is, uh, we can see we've got the BMS here, the active charger, all the wires are coming up. Otherwise, uh, nothing's getting through, which is good. And then there's no nothing on the back and the top is off. Now, uh, in the summer, I will probably actually make some, some things to go here and just put big grates in them or big holes so that air can flow through. And you see that there is this crack here, so I would probably wanna put some sort of light top on that, again, with holes, so we need airflow, uh, because I don't want something falling through this crack. Uh, but this is summer mode for the battery box. So you can see that when it gets hot, uh, it's gonna be really easy to open this thing up, get tons and tons of airflow, even potentially install a fan, uh, or temperature sensitive fan. And uh, yeah, this thing should work. Uh, I have a couple issues. I have too short of wire, so I've connected these. That's really near the positive terminal, so I've taped like 20 layers of tape on this, and I have a connection to the positive terminal that is, I don't know if you can see, but it's too long, and I've got to shorten that, but otherwise we're good. Now I'm going to turn into winter mode and pack it up, and uh, I'll show you again in a second. Okay, and there is the finished project, right? Got to fix this. Got to get a new longer cable, but I need more lugs. I got the cable, but don't have the lugs right now. Otherwise, nice and safe and snug. Hopefully, gonna keep my batteries warm. Let me show you the one thing I wanna fix in the future. Um, so right now, the only issue is the heat mats that I have in there are coming out in these cables. What I'd like to do in the future is maybe drill a hole right here in the side, a nice hole right here, fill it with um, maybe some spray foam, have the two cables coming out. Um, not sure I love this because it's introducing a crack right here. But otherwise, not a big deal. And uh, I think I'm done. So let me talk you through all the materials I used. Okay, that was my winter, summer battery box build. I hope it was helpful for, helpful for you. If this was actually any useful at all, please remember to like or subscribe. Making the video out of this is actually tons more work than just making the box. 
Um, in terms of supplies, so I used one, essentially one four by eight piece of plywood. I used a mix of OSB and ply that I had left over, but if you didn't have any scraps, you could use one big piece of ply or one big piece of OSB. I'd say at least half an inch. Uh, I used another four by eight piece of that insulation. So that was, I think, one inch, one inch insulation. You could use whatever you wanted. But again, if you're going to use something like two inches or more or any adjustment, you're going to have to adjust your thing accordingly. And then I used a little over two pieces of two by four. And then a bunch of small screws and fasteners. I used some tape and some glue. Ultimately, I think the way to go in terms of attaching the insulation to the plywood would be to go with glue. Um, otherwise, I think screws work for the most part. I used a few uh, nails to fasten things together, but you know, use whatever's on hand. And then finally, I used about 20, actually, no, I used about 12 uh, of those small bungee cords, but you can buy packs of 20 at Home Depot. Otherwise, that's it. It's really straightforward. I think it's going to work really well, and I'll update you guys in the future, but there's also plenty of room for improvement. You can add more insulation on the outside, which I think would work. You can definitely add more insulation on the top, which I think would be very, very useful because that'll keep that heat in there. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's, I'm really happy with it. It looks great, and if I ever buy more batteries, I'm going to make another box for them just like that. So I'll update you guys in the future, and thanks again, and please remember to like and subscribe.